Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And for those of you who are new, my name is Joshua and today is my 13 month hair growth update. But before I get into that, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way at all, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get updates on my weekly videos. It's officially 13 months on my hair growth journey. And I know the one big difference between my 12 month mark and my 13 month mark is the fact that my hair is now blonde. So once I hit that one year mark, and hit my goal of growing my hair out for an entire year without getting a single haircut, the first thing I did was went and got a maintenance trim. And as you can see, I also got my hair dyed blonde. That had been something I had wanted to do prior to growing out my hair and was one of the things that encouraged me to grow my hair out in the first place. And one thing I wanna say for anyone else who's thinking about doing this or something similar to your hair, coloring your hair can be damaging to the hair. It really depends on a few different factors, such as how long the color actually sits in your hair trying to lift it to be as blonde as you want it to be. So make sure you get it done by a professional, go to a stylist in a salon, and then make sure that after you color treat the hair, to keep up with your hair care routine, making sure to condition and oil the ends to really help any of that dryness or frizziness or damage that may have happened when coloring your hair. Another thing to think about when dyeing your hair is that if you lift your hair to a blonde like I have, after a while, the hair will start to get more of an orange slash brassy hue to it. So what you're gonna wanna do is use a purple shampoo or a purple conditioner or a purple leave-in conditioner. I'm currently using the Sunbum Blonde Tone Enhancer. This is basically a leave-in conditioner that has purple in it. And the reason you wanna use a purple shampoo or a purple conditioner or something like this that's a leave-in conditioner is purple is a direct opposite of yellow, this blonde. And so what it'll help do is actually cool down your blondes and pull a lot of those oranges and that brassiness out of your blonde hair. Now you don't have to use that Sunbum product specifically. There's quite a few products on the market that are geared for blondes to pull out that brassiness. Like I said, just make sure that it is a purple shampoo and then a purple conditioner if you wanna do that full hair care routine. But those were just two things I wanted to mention in case you are also thinking about lifting your hair to a blonde color and you may have not known that those are things you will have to deal with when you go blonde. All right, so on to how am I styling my hair at the 13 month mark. What you're currently seeing is literally just shampooed and conditioned. Today was wash day. It's actually still a little damp, which is helping kind of hold it back and not be so frizzy. I used that Sunbum Blonde Tone Enhancer, like I mentioned, on the ends, basically anywhere it's blonde. I just put a few sprays in my hand and then I run it through to make sure that it gets all those blondes. And like I said, it's a benefit that it's a leave-in conditioner, so that works as well. And then I just used a dab of the Sunbum Curls and Waves Styling Cream that I've been using for a few months now. The shampoo and conditioner was also that Sunbum's Curls and Waves. I found that that shampoo, conditioner, and styling cream works really well for my hair type. In terms of length, I didn't measure it because now that I've had a trim, I feel like that isn't really relevant anymore, but I will show you how long it actually looks. And since it is blonde, you should be able to see where it is currently at. So it looks like from what I can see, it goes just down to the chin, basically the end of my beard. So like I said, I did get a maintenance trim. So some of that length that I had at the 12 month mark will have been cut off. My stylist likes to call it a dusting. So she basically dusted all my ends. So by my stylist doing that, I did lose a little bit of length but I've been saying this already, maintenance trims are way more important to keep your hair healthy in the long run than losing maybe a half an inch at most in your hair growth process. And that is it for my 13 month hair growth update. I've realized I actually haven't done the 360 view in quite a while. So I'm gonna end the video with a 360 view of where my hair is at at 13 months. <laughs> 